Welcome back. In this video, I'll be talking about the phases of spermatogenesis and oogenesis. Right after birth, the primary oocyte is going to have full chromosomes, so it's a diploid, and it's going to arrest in prophase of meiosis 1. The second phase, which is after ovulation, is going to have half chromosomes, so it's a haploid, and it's going to arrest in metaphase of meiosis 2 and it will become a zygote after fertilization. So remember, primary oocyte, which is number one, have meiosis one and full chromosomes. Secondary oocyte, which is number two, has half chromosomes and in meiosis two. In spermatogenesis, we have double the phases of oocyte, so we have six phases, and only the first two phases are diploid of full chromosomes. So remember, in oogenesis we have three phases, and only the first phase is diploid, and in spermatogenesis we're going to have six phases, and the first two phases are diploid. We'll start off with the spermatogonium, which will undergo mitosis to spermatocyte 1, or the primary spermatocyte, and by meiosis 1 it will become secondary spermatocyte, and by meiosis 2, it'll become spermatide and it's gonna maturate and grow to a full sperm. If you understood all the points well, you should be able to answer this question. So, what's the generic phase of the ova right before we miss the sperm? So, we're talking about ovulation, which is the secondary oocyte. And when does the sperm become haploid? And here are the answers. If you guys have any other mnemonics or important information about oogenesis and spermatogenesis, leave them in the comment section below so other people can read them and also benefit from them. Alright guys, that's all I have, and I'll see you guys later.